We're so happy that you've chosen to migrate your face-to-face -face meeting to online via Zoom video conferencing. The application is easy. You'll get an email from Zoom after you've registered with Smart Recovery. It'll ask you to activate your account. You can sign in with Google or Facebook or just sign up with a password. Just fill out your name and a password and continue. Now the first thing you'll want to do is start a meeting. This is your main workflow and you go up to the top right and you schedule your first meeting. Now you need to fill out the information about the meeting. Under topic, we recommend that you use your meeting number. That'll help Smart Recovery keep track of your progress. Put a meeting description, choose the date and the time, and make sure that you get the right time zone. That's a frequent mistake some people make. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you make it a recurring meeting every week, and then go down and set an end date. Scroll down and click all the way through to December 31st, 2020. Hit no verifications, then go down and save your meeting. Zoom is very helpful because it allows you to add the meeting to your Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar or Yahoo Calendar. Now this is an important piece of information. This is your meeting ID number. And this is the link for people to join your meeting. If you need to edit anything about your meeting, you can do so at the bottom. The next thing you want to do is copy the invitation link. This is all the information about your weekly meeting on a recurring basis. As you can see, it has the meeting ID number. It also has the link. And if people want to join via mobile, it has dial-in numbers. You want to copy this meeting information. Then open up your email program and send an email to the people that you want to invite to your online meeting. Then paste the information that you copied to your clipboard. Now your email will have the meeting ID number. It'll have the link that they can click on to join the meeting and all the dial information. Then just hit send. When people receive an email from you, all this information will be there. They simply have to click on the Zoom link to join your meeting. And you're up and running. We highly recommend that before you run a Zoom meeting with participants, run a test Zoom meeting with a friend or yourself. Go to your main console, click on the Smart Recovery meeting that you already scheduled, and then at the upper right, start this meeting. If you've downloaded the Zoom software onto your desktop, it'll ask you if you want to run that software. Or we prefer that you just hit cancel, then go down and start the meeting from your browser. It's the easiest way. Now your meeting is in progress. You'll want to join by computer audio and you want to allow access to your microphones and go down to the lower left to make sure that your audio settings and microphone settings are on. Next, you'll want to start your video. Grant all the accesses that you need to to make sure that your camera is on and usable. Then hit start video and you are good to go. Okay, so you're ready for your first Smart Recovery online Zoom meeting. Go ahead and click on your meeting at the time and date that you've already agreed upon. Start the meeting. Again, you can either open it in Zoom or click Cancel and launch the meeting from your browser. And here's your meeting. Join by computer audio as you did before and start your video. And there you are in the upper right. Now, some people when they join the meeting might be talking a lot. So you want to go to Manage Participants and you want to be able to mute people. 
You can mute anybody at any time. You have complete control. Or if you want, you can mute everybody so that you can just basically take control of the meeting and then unmute everybody when you want to proceed. You also have control over who can chat and who can't and to whom. The chat feature is wonderful and a lot of people use it actively during the meeting. You can type in a text for everybody to see or you can text somebody specifically. Another great feature about the chat function is that you can also share files from your computer. Just go down to the chat feature to share with everyone. Then click on the file icon, which will open up your Windows browser or Mac browser. Choose the file that you want to attach. And it's been sent. You also have control over whose video you can see. Go to Manage Participants, and you can stop somebody's video if you need to. Zoom also has a wonderful feature called Share Screen. Choose the screen that you want to share, enable computer sound, and go to Smart Recovery's YouTube channel and maybe play a video. Or you can call up a cost-benefit analysis. When you're done sharing, just hit stop sharing and you're back at the main menu. Now, if your meeting is over, leave the meeting. But since you're the meeting host, you'll want to end the meeting for everybody. If you have any questions, go to Smart Recovery's website, click on contact us and fill out our form. And that's it. You just conducted your first Smart Recovery online meeting using Zoom video conferencing.